record welcome to itsp technology this is vivek kumar so today we are uh, discussing about git hub git repository related to repositories and mainly i will plan three sessions for this and after three sessions we will uh, take our one revision session after that we complete this bind up this uh, github so in this session we will learn a lot more things you can get uh, all these pdfs and uh, notes in this group i trick study just send me the request i will approve this then you will get the notes all the videos which are preparing here all notes are available in this i trick study park uh, group okay so let's start our sessions so first we are starting basics why we need a git repository and what is the requirement okay so no git one first so we will cover these many topics first i am just i am showing source code repository tools and advantage with the source code repository softwares second repository tools we have environment setups to work with the github and next is a working with git bash configure your email and name in a git bash without command with command okay and this is the basic command and now start in the sessions and next session is second in the second session set up to push code to github central repository and real time use case i have written one real time use case then you can understand where we use that in this case we will go for the git stage when we go for the git splash so now this is the second session i planned and third session third is last sessions branching branch merging and step to do branch merging how to do the uh, steps all the steps i have written and what is the dot git ignore files and uh, git merge versus git revish i will discuss and what is git pull command okay pull and uh, practical task for the github this is the practical task so we can do or like you can do and this is um, some basic commands which we learned okay so now this is the sessions our sessions so go with the first sessions so this is the today's session okay so now yes let's start so now the point is source code repository tool tool means we have many tools source code repository tools so that's why i am putting the heading as the source code repository tools like is here you can see the multiple developers will work for project development suppose we we, we have one project this is the project we have Just open this right okay okay now this is we have one project and developer one is there okay developer two is there in the different different location developer three these are developers are there okay right now we are working as a remotely so developer this is the in usa right this is in usa this is in india suppose that and the different different location with this in okay usa india this is in uh, like somewhere else um, usa in the usa india in india in a state like uh, delhi delhi and this is in pune four developers are there and this is our project project so how they maintain that uh, code like developing code pune developers delhi developers and us developer and india developer so we need a one place where we can put our project where we can put our project so that place is nothing but 
repository. We can say that repository. Okay. So now point is developer will working for multiple locations, like different different location is there. All developer code should be stored at one place. Like code integration should happen. Code integration should happen. Like we need to integrate all developers code inside one in the one place. So we need a one place. So to integrate all the developer source code at one place, we will use source code repository software. Which software we use? Source code repository software we use. Okay. Advantage with the source code repository software. While using uh, repository software, we have some advantage. So all the developers can connect to repository. Like suppose this is the repo. This is the repo. Okay, so all developers, all developers connect with this repo, right? This one also connect with this repo and this developer also connect with and this developer also connect with this repo, right? So here server and can integrate that code, integrate that code here. The commit this push our code in, into this repo, this repo, and this developer also in this repo, this developer also, and that repo software repository, a soft repository software will integrate that code automatically. So developer don't worry about this activities, software will do automatically. Like code integration will become easy. It's easy, okay. Do not record repository server will provide a mentored access first it will who who like suppose uh suppose a developer has we have one more developer right then uh, this admin will ask to the who who are you and when cub why q and what yeah So this this is the point. Any repository you can do this four thing. Admin people ask the repository. Admin people we ask like who, when, why, what, con, cub, q, or kya kya commit kara, why q commit kara, when cub kara, and who or up con. These things will happen. So now next, coming to the next slide. So repository tools. So repository tools. We have some repository tools. What is that? First one is the SVN and GitHub and Bitbucket. So SVN is outdated. In my company, we are using, but outdated <laughs> in my company, SBN is used for like document pushing, document pushing, and code source code pushing is GitHub is there, GitHub in my organization, and Bitbucket also one repository too. Repository like Git, just company difference is there, and same thing GitHub and Bitbucket is there, like same command, all these things are same. Atlassian company developed Bitbucket and GitHub is developing in some other some other company. So that's why Bitbucket, uh, the Jira software developed by Atlassian company and same thing. If you purchase a Jira software, then Bitbucket it will give you a uh, like complimentary. This is so just first point is environment setup to work with GitHub. So environment setup we will do the environment setup how to work with github okay so now create a github account create first we will create a github account then download the install git client software what is that git client software so client software suppose okay wait i'm just putting one safe Okay, 
This is perfect. Okay. So now, this is our GitHub, right? This is our GitHub. Not writing, I just forget it. This is our repository, you can see. Perfect. This is our repository. Repo like GitHub. GitHub. GitHub software. This is GitHub software. You want to access this software. We need a one client. We need a client. That's why we are talking about here to install a client. So access the software. We need a client like in the GitHub. We have GitWash. With GitWash client. So use GitWash client. You can access GitHub software. Okay, like GitHub website, the GitHub repository also you can say. So just let's go to install. First, we create an account in a GitHub. So let's see. Okay. GitHub. GitHub. Just open GitHub. GitHub.com. GitHub. Hub.com. Enter this. Now here, no, uh, nothing is just, just creating a new account. Sign up. If you have already account, you can add sign in. Sign in. But I don't have account right now. Just I am creating front of you. Okay. So just click on this. I will go with that. Uh, my email. What is that? My email. You can see here. Uh, you need dot this, but I don't want to log in on this. You need dot take dot online. Okay, otherwise you can use cloud dot. Wait, wait, wait. AWS. AWS. I'm just forgetting my ID. Just I'm confirmed. Oh no, AWS. Here, we we'll just click on sign in. Here, not related. Just I am finding my email ID. We'll just click on this. This one. Vivek. Vivek nineteen ninety six dot cloud. Copy this. You can copy otherwise. Copy here. It's Google is not there. If it's Google is there, then it's better. But it's okay, fine. Vivek dot, you can put your email ID. Just click on password, create a password. Put a strong password. So I'm just putting my password. No, this is not required. Right. So it's a strong password. Now here you can see the password is strong. Great. So now continue. Enter a username to so ITSP. Okay. ITSP. Username is ITSP. ITSP technology. Technology. I think spelling is correct. Let me check. The spelling is correct. So now continue. Receive a original product update and announcement. Yes. Continue. Okay. Just giving us some verified. Okay. So now move this one. Submit this. Done. And move this. 
submit hand moving hand move like this you can just move that uh, front of car car is moving submit car bonnet you can move it search and simple steps create account now here you will get save that password uh, you are almost done we are sending a launch code to you this email id but where we logged in this email id just i want to check i think so. i think so in my some other browsers is there or not let's see okay mm -hmm. go inside the edge like gmail.com if it is there then let's see yeah here we can check that code is coming github yeah launch code is there copy this let's close this one not required and put it here this is one time one time okay how many teams member will you working with no 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 not required to fill it are you the student or teacher just i am putting as a student continue so just me okay what the specific feature are you in interested in using collaborating coding just automation ci cd security client app mm -hmm. okay all this thing test anim administrator and community just continue yep now this is our free plan we go with but github also giving the purchases plan like four per user per month like that three thousand hundred ci cd minutes month two gb of package storage be best support continue for the free now it's yeah now the repository is done here you can see here you can see this is our dashboard button if you anyone new just i am explaining okay repository button is there this is our profile profile is there and here you can search right and private public and we we can create two types of repository public and private right so just go through once close this here you can just click on create repository new repository will create it here also plus button new repository import the repository new code space these are many more or here you can see itsp technology this is our username here will you can put your set as the status here you can put uh, your status is busy or uh, like one minute like something something here you can click on vacation out stick focusing status neighbor set the status then here you can see my uh, github then you can like your sponsors all these things yeah, there. so we are right now we not required so up to this we complete setup is completed this point is completed so now next point is download and install the git client software so git, what is the git client software here search wait Close this and get client software. Just put get client software. Let's see. Now here free get terminal. We get get GUI. This one we need. Okay. Just click on this. Yeah, this is the freeware GUI client. GUI client we want. So just click on window. Get desktop, 
GitHub desktop. This is this many softwares we have. So we go and check back that back git scm not git bash. We need a git bash. So git bash download. So now click on this download button. So we will get this page. Copy this. And for your reference purpose, I am putting here. Right. So let's stop. Just click on download. Just click on download and it, it will start downloading. Yes. But I have already downloaded. Here you can select 64 bit. Okay. Standard installation or the portable installation. If you want, then you can install this. But you want 2 MB software, I think. So is it is it will ask you to download. Download in my system. Okay. It is downloading, but I don't want to download, so just click and close 58 MB. Right? We have a software uh, inside this. window e and that browse personal software git bash search git bash we have the git 2.4 this just click on double click on this it will start to it will ask for installation just click on yes but i have already when you install your software then you will get when you install this then you will get this two options which option we get this two option we get okay control c is happening or not blood c not happening okay that's okay not a big deal just take a print by using this this is also not so okay it's okay just I'm thank you of putting the screenshot here. Put it so. So now up to this, we complete it. Download and install the software. Once it installs, complete the right click on this mouse and verify this Git was display. If your Git option is displaying or Git client is installed and completely successfully, the next slide is working with the GitHub. Login into GitHub account. Your credentials. Login up done. We are in that uh, in, into that account. And second is create create a repository in GitHub. Create a repository in GitHub. Repository repository is used to store the project source code. Every project will have one repository. Every project have one repository. We create repository. Open. Uh, where is our close this one? Close this one. Get up. Okay. Just click on this. I like it. plus button. New repository. Here. Put a name of the your repository. So I am putting git station repo. Git session, whatever name you can choose, you can choose Git session, session report. Perfect. So now it's created. Description if you want, you can get, otherwise, it's op optional. This is the important point here. Public repository you want. If you are public, if you are putting put your repository as a public, anyone can access. If you are put it as a private you can access if you share your repository then person access otherwise no one can access your repository this is the initialize this repository with add dot readme file but i don't want to add this just i am creating repository that's it this is add dot ignore file none not required choose a license not i don't want to just click on create repository now here, now here, the repository is created. Now, now this is the important. We need to execute this command. We need to execute this command. 
on our uh, project folder then this repository uh, this repository integrate with our folder so now let's come into that end. we created this repository okay after that when we create a repository unique url will be generated with the repository name right unique re url if you can see here that uh, unique url is there with your repository name git session dot git like that we are talking about this great okay so now all the developers will connect repository using repository url by using by using this url by using this url developer developer connect with your repository okay we can create two types of repository what is that we have discussed we discussed two repository we can create it like first is the public repository and private repository public repository means everybody can access but we can choose who can modify our repository access is the different thing and uh, like modification is, if, is the different thing if you give the permission to the other developer you can modify that code and push that code into the github then you can okay private repository means we will choose who can access and who can modify access permission is there who can access and who can modify in the public repository only one permission you can uh, one control you have just give the permission to that person that person can modify code or not like that next is working with the git bash come here come here guys git bash we use git client software to perform git operations which operation we perform download and git install client we download it and install it right click on mouse choose the open git bash here and git help it will display when you put git help command in git bash i will show you then it will display the frequently used git command what is that just go inside that uh just open and this public online sessions we have inside that we create one folder mm -hmm. right click uh, new git git session Okay, just create one folder. Open new folder. What is that name we should put? Git repo. Git repo. Okay, inside the repo, let's right click, go in, git, mesh, open it. Now enter git help. Now here you can see these are the frequently use command wait wait here yeah, guys wait so i want to move this from here else Three. okay so now so this is i think it's visible otherwise i can increase the size options mm -hmm. text uh, style is good looks font is there text length is left font 12 is good bold and label well, it's good. Apply. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So now we put it git help. So it will give a frequently used command. 
like add, MB, restore, RM, bit set, diff, graph, log, log, so, and branch, commit, merge, rebase, reset, switch, log, tag, patch, pull, push. So here is the description or also there, there you can go and check it. Perfect command center, right? So now come here. If it help, it will command name. If you put git help and command name, then it will open the documentation of this command. Let's see it works or not inside this. Just I want two information about this. Just select git help help and shift insert just hit enter let's see what is it nothing it's giving it's not working perfectly some commands are giving some commands are not giving just forget it about this just i'm adding uh, the general purpose so now configure your email and name in github bash with commands what is that with the commands so now configure our your Configure your uh, username and password in your repository. So now how? So we can connect with that. So now how? Let's see. Just we perform this command. Git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email. Like. So now here. Git. Git config hyphen hyphen global global user dot name put it your email id put it your email id right put your email id okay i have a email id what is that we put it um, we wake we wake 1996.cloud cloud at the rate gmail.com let's see enter git config config hyphen hyphen global global next thing is next thing is global username which username you entered and that the git dot Username, put it here, but no, 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 no. Email is there, no? Email is there. So just right click, come and name email. Email, enter. Perfect. Then get config hyphen hyphen global global user dot name itsp itsp hyphen technology technology thus let's see it configured it configured with that if you want to see then you can also see that it's configured or not if you want Email and uh, name will be configured only the first time. Only it will ask first time. If it is not configured, then it not initialized. So just perform the initialization. Git initialize this folder as a repository. Git init. Git init initialization. Git init means initialize. So initialize as a master. You can get here. You will get this. Initialize as a master. And after that, you can go inside this. Get pull manual page name. What is that happening?
master git version git commit and dot 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 this one see the it's opening something else that's why it's some it's opening. okay just forget it just uh you can copy this command or otherwise you can execute here otherwise i will run one by one so here you can add one file add one file readme file just empty file whatever you file you want to add just add it so git add don't th don't think about it git add just i am showing how to add that uh, repository git add readme dot me dot md file md it's added did not match okay so just copy this git add shift insert button fetch readme dot is not matched why because readme is not there so just go inside this folder section create one uh, readme file or whatever you file just add it test test right so here git add test what is that file name capital is now test right it's added but it's not added like text i think so now it's added okay now it added in that first you can commit your uh, file into the local just commit git commit hyphen yum means message initial commit shell commit right commit now right now the file is don't worry where is the file where is the file just i am seeing commit commit that code commit it now next step is if you want to change your branch name right now its branch name is master so if you want to change branch name master to another so you can use git here git branch branch hyphen m hyphen m mean or like action just i am putting action not a mean you can just enter it here you can see now we are we are our, our branch is must action so whatever you perform options you use branch name as the action so copy this command git remote add origin right add origin git remote add origin insert this command just sit perfect then i want to push to so git if right the git push this is the command but it's not working right now it's showing up a stream action because we are we are not uh, we change that name master to action so we should put a branch name as origin branch name give that so you can use this command otherwise let's try this command also shift insert git push hyphen origin action which branch action action right now here, let's see pattern right permission denied directory code that like denied unable to access git repo the the url return error 403 means forbidden so use this let's see what happened git origin action now is fatal remote permission is not given to us so maybe its connection is not uh, established between our client to remote repository maybe some username happening okay so let's uh, one thing do otherwise we can git push hyphen yes means forcefully you can push this or hyphen f hyphen u origin just action origin 
region action. No, permission is denied. Let's try one more time. Uh -huh. Just configure globally. So here, uh, just we need to copy this command. So copy this. Okay, shift insert. So we should put inside the double quotes. Let's see. It is working or not. Uh, copy that. Uh, what is that? We can copy this. Uh, we can copy the email. If email we get here, let's see. Uh, your profile, go inside the profile. Uh, email is there, not there. Okay, just copy this username is good. Okay, go back. Username also you can copy here. Mm -hmm. You can search. Let's see. A W S. We need uh, proper email. Maybe some spelling is happening. Copy. Come into Git client and delete this one or shift insert it now it's perfect enter this then uh, paste this user name git config global global user dot name and passing that name user dot name passing that name what is that name just inside this copy this and come down insert shift insert right wait 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 email instead of user username now it's configured. Let's try to let's see. Get wait, get status. No merge branch, nothing to commit. Okay. Get commit hyphen dot. Okay, so now just git push use this command up the stream. Okay, now shift insert. Let's see what now is accessing permission access denied a trick code. Well, because some other permission is there, that's why it's giving uh, some other repository, remote repository is there in my system, that's why it's giving unable to access this. First, we need to unpermission this, then we can use this. I think we have another repository. So, with this, so I will resolve this issue, then we will. Uh, in the next session also we will learn okay now after this it's completed i think i will resolve this issue guys okay so now here get in it to initialize here you can theory to initialize our folder as git working tree folder right we initialize the for when we execute this command then you can show inside that folder one uh, folder is there go inside the view and show and hide hide item here dot git will come when you hitting when you will hit this command what is this command git init 
git init reject and you will init that. Then git, git clone command, it means to clone to clone git repository to your machine from git hub. Like if you want to clone, if you want to clone any repository from GitHub, just use this git clone, git clone, this command I will discuss in the, then I will fix this, that issue. That the project, URL of that project, which URL you just go inside this repository, this URL. By using this URL, you can clone this repository. I will show you in the next sessions. Once I will uh, fix that issue. Okay. Then get status. When you it hit this this command, it will display the staged, unstaged, and untracked file. Three things it will show. So get status is the command. Staged file. The file which are added for commit staged means if you are seeing the staged file that means this these files are ready to the commit and unstaged this file this file unstaged means unstaged means unstaged means the files which are modified but not added for the commit you change you done some you have done we you done some changes in this file some file okay you done some changes in this file but you are not supposed to going commit into the local it means this file is unstaged 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 file an untracked file what is the meaning of a newly created file untracked means newly when you create a new file then it's showing status as the untracked file so now note the commit of these files we will should add that teasing area first staging area first if you need to commit if you need to commit any file so we need to first staging area. So we perform what is that command? Git add dot means all file hyphen a also you can use dot means also file hyphen a. And if you want to specific file, just pass the name of that specific file. Git add. When you hit this command, it will come into the staging area. Staging area. Git add. When you hit git commit it will come into that local area staging area when the files are in the staging area and you can hit git status git status then this files are showing to you like staged file and staged file and untracked file so this is about git so now this is some command git add git add git add means it is used to add a file to the staging area i have told you staging area if you want this is one staging area tick then you hit this command that file come into that staging area right then git dot add also you can then git dot commit this is one local area staging area you can say jing area local area local if the local folder is there so we can add it perfect when you hit git uh, commit git commit command hyphen a reason for the commit reason for the commit means you are putting your message which files you are committing or which functionality you are committing on this uh, commit so you can pass that message here. When you hitting this command, this staged file come into this local area. This is the remote. This is the remote repository. Remote. Remote repository means 
remote repository means remote repository means we have a github 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 right so github github so when you add when you add when you run this command git push to push changes from git local repository to git central central repository you can say central also remote when this file is there l file is there staging area when you adding git add then after performing git commit then this file come into the local area and after you performing git push command this file come into come into remote repository or called central repository then every developer can access this file right this is git concept okay and git remove to remove file from the repository if you remove the file from the repository then access this use this command okay and now next is so today we will learn thank you guys today we will learn how to create a repository and uh, i am unable to show you because some conflict is happening i will fix that and next session we will see all these examples again okay and uh, how many things we have done like what is the remote repositories tools software tools what is the software tools where we use that why we use that and this thing we need to add okay and staged area tracked area untracked area okay commit git commit git push git add first you come on command is git add then that file come into the staging area when you uh, hit a command git commit then that file come into the local area when you push git when you hit git push command then that file come come into that uh, central area central area means central repository like github repository so this is tutorial below and we will meet next session with the fix that issue so thank you thank you for watching me guys thank you and you will get the note on this panel also. thanks